Hi there. I thought I would share a short story with you about what I've been up to while we're stranded here in our home. So back in February of this year, I had this strange urge to go buy a sewing machine. And I haven't sewn in years. I don't know why I wanted a sewing machine. Um, I think I just wanted it because uh, my mom taught me how to sew. She could just make anything. And it just makes me feel closer to her. So shortly after I bought this sewing machine that I didn't need, I was at one of the local thrift stores here in the county that's run by one of the churches, and they had a box full of remnant fabrics that someone had donated. So I found in this box a pretty big piece of fabric that was kind of this weird off-white color, and I remember saying to my husband, I have no idea what I will make with this fabric. In any case, I purchased this big piece of fabric for a dollar, and um, it's been sitting around the house ever since then. Over the weekend, I saw that some of the hospitals in the country were putting out a call for people to make a fabric face masks for healthcare workers to wear over top of their ventilated um, personal protection mask in order to be able to wear those ventilated masks longer. So I contacted my niece who works at a local hospital and asked her if the mask would be helpful. And she said, yes, we'll take as many as you can get for us. So then I knew what I needed to do. So our pastor has been calling on all of us to be the church. So I sat down over the weekend and found a, a pattern online of how to make these surgical masks. I got out my off-white fabric and taught myself to make these little fabric face masks. And so they just tie on at the top and the back and the healthcare workers can wear them over their ventilated mask. Um, I'm not a really good sewer, but I made 36 of them, and today I'm going to take them over and deliver them to my niece for hopefully good use at the hospital. If nothing else, someone who feels more comfortable wearing a face mask around will have something with a little bit of protection on it. Um, in any case, that's my story about how I'm being the church these days. And before I say goodbye, I want to give a shout out to my church. Look forward to being in the sanctuary with you again.